Hello, this is Christine of Spring Creek Bathworks, and I am doing a cutting video of this tea tree essential oil soap that I made yesterday. I probably rushed it. I stuck it in the freezer when it, it felt cool, so I thought it was okay. And it was, um, it was hard to get out of the mold. This is the, um, I don't know where you can see this. This is bentonite clay. Put some more lights on. Uh, bentonite clay, black activated charcoal, and uncolored. And I'm sticking it on this pan with the apple pie that I made over a week ago. Apple pie fragrance. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. This was an in the pot swirl and then I swirled it around with the hanger. They're pretty fine. So I guess I learned that's the key. If you want those really thin swirls, it's in the pot swirl. And if you want thicker swirls, you layer the colors into the mold and then you swirl it. I wanted, I didn't want this to be just plain, even though I find that men really enjoy, this. I really love that, the tea tree, the plain tea tree, the best. And when the women buy tea tree, they tell me that they want it for benefits that they perceive that tea tree has for the skin, even though I make no medical claims on my soaps. People have ideas about what does what, what does bentonite clay do, what does activated charcoal do, what does tea tree do. So they have their own ideas about it and whether these things work for um, direct ap application on the skin or on some kind of a leave-on thing versus um, a wash-off soap, I don't know. And so I don't make medical claims. I don't, I do want to follow the law and the FDA rules. And, uh, but you can't explain why people buy things. If someone wants tea tree because they think it does certain something good for their skin, that's their choice as a consumer. They come to me with knowledge that they already know and um, they choose to buy it. That's their choice. So. Thank you for watching the cutting video of tea tree essential oil with bentonite clay and activated charcoal. Have a great night.